second. At the outset, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to all the media personnel for accepting our invitation and make convenient to attend this conference. The purpose of this press conference is to generate awareness on NEP 2020 and to announce the progress and achievement made so far by the National Institute of Technology Sikkim. As we are aware that our nation is celebrating third year of implementation of National Education Policy 2020 on 29th and 30th of July 2023. Now I would like to introduce our panel speaker. Firstly, I would like to welcome our Director Professor Mahesh Chandra Govind, sir, who will address us through video conferencing. Similarly, to my extreme left side, Mr. Ashok Dutt Sarma, Principal of Jawar Navo Vidyalaya Ravanga, followed by Dr. Dhananjay Tripathi, Dean Faculty Welfare of the Institute, in middle, Dr. Ranjan Basak, Dean Academic and Registrar of the Institute, to my left, Dr. Achindesh Narayan Biswas, Dean Administration, and myself, Ram Nepal, Assistant Register. Now, I would like to request Honorable Director, sir, to address the media, sir. Over to you, sir. So, first of all, I uh, welcome all the media persons on um, the option to have a good I'm highly obliged that all the media persons from the city has come to cover this very important uh, event, uh, the press conference on NEP 2020. As we all know, NEP 2020 was announced uh, three years ago by the Ministry of Education and has been the decade of change, guiding our education system towards the holistic development. We as a NIT Sikkim has also on the journey of uh, implementing this NEP 2020 and uh, going on the transformative journey uh, to change the education system, especially in higher education. We all know that this is the brainchild of our honorable Prime Minister P. Narendra Modi ji. And the policy has, which has been drafted, uh, everybody know, is uh, after a long effort of uh, huge number of educators, experts and the stakeholders of the nation and the policy has been uh, very well laid down and uh, it talks about not only the indigenization of the education system but also uh, the education system which is uh, based on the creativity, innovativeness and uh, the skill development and moreover uh, we have to inculcate the research attitude starting from the even from the school education to your higher education. So that is the important part of this. And more of uh, this, uh, we want to create a manpower as well as uh, we wish to have the ingenious technologies uh, within the India. That is the prime focus of NEP 2020, that we should become uh, the uh, Atmanirvar as it has been uh, envisioned our the Omnivore Prime Minister also that we should have uh, the product uh, development in the Institute of Nature Importance and uh, moreover, we should help all the institutions uh, in this direction. As far as NIT Sikkim is concerned, we have taken a key initiative in implementing the NEP 2020 and we are working towards the holistic development of the student as well as the uh, institute also. Recently, we have revised the curriculum as well as the syllabus uh, to envision the goals of the NEP 2020. And our new curricula is based, more based on the research, innovation and creativity. Apart from this, it provides the enough flexibility to the students uh, uh, so that they, they can fulfill their own dream and then they can learn uh, the way they want. So that was the main emphasis part because the institution is still new and we do not have enough resources to provide much uh, needed, uh, you can see the diversity of the courses to the students. But once we will be shifting to the permanent campus, we will have a more uh, courses which will be available to the students. However, uh, we are not leaving any uh, deficiency as far as the new technology is concerned and we are introducing the disruptive technology just your artificial intelligence, machine learning, 
quantum computing, and this AI and ML we are introducing across the branches, not only computer science or the electronics or electrical, but we have introduced to civil engineering as well as mechanical engineering. Because this is the need of uh, the hour and it has been very well said in the NEP 2020 also that we have to become the uh, power uh, in the field of AI and the machine learning also as we have been the, uh, you know, the uh, world known in the IT sector. We have also started to enforce the interpreter to get the start skills also because that is also important because we want to give more emphasis on the product development and that to indigenous uh, right uh, product. So that is also important. So we are moving uh, in a right direction to provide a more options to the students. We have also introduced a professional practice, which is an audit based course, but it, it emphasizes on the soft skills as well as the students will be encouraged to solve the social problems. So this is also important and we may send the students around the villages to find out the local problems and then provide the solution for them. So that is the major emphasis on this. We have introduced the another course on the, uh, the art of living. The main focus of this, four, this course is to give emphasis to Lok Vidya and make the students more strong mentally, physically, emotionally. And uh, in today's uh, time, it is, I think, is a very, very important. And therefore, uh, realizing the need, we have introduced this course also. Apart from this, we have moved to the multidisciplinary education also, as it is being increases in the NEP 2020 and to modern era. I think multidisciplinary is uh, very important because the students uh, should have a all round uh, skills so that we can really go for the product development. Apart from this, uh, apart from the multidisciplinary, we have introduced this multiple entry and multiple exit also, and we can uh, facilitate the student if they don't want to continue their studies after first year or the second year or third year. They can inform us and uh, after fulfilling the requisite requirements, they can take the either the ITA certification or the diploma certification or maybe the advanced uh, diploma certification, so that uh, also we have uh, implemented and rules have been framed by the Senate and it is in the implementation. Then we have also implemented the academic bank of credit. As I said, we have revised the curriculum, right, objectively. Right, we are moving away from the memory based learning to the analytical uh, reasoning based learning. Uh, we have also very active uh, in, pro, in teaching learning process that is in the blended mode. So some of the courses might be in the physical mode, some of the courses may be in the online mode. And uh, the teachers can may utilize the digital infrastructure which is available within the NIT and may use uh, the teaching skills uh, more effectively. So they can explain uh, the, the content to the students in a much easier way. We are also thinking to start the interdisciplinary programs because as I said, uh, we are still a uh, little low in uh, resources. But in time to come, we might have a more uh, interdisciplinary courses, uh, which might be done as a part of uh, the NIT. The another important thing is uh, we are uh, also serving the institutions around us and we are uh, helping the people which are uh, socio-economically economically disadvantaged group. So we help such, a, such a people also and government of India has a special schemes to provide the easy access to the education. That is another important part of NEP 2020. Uh, as far as the collaboration is concerned, we have signed the MOU with the number of uh, premier institutions of the nation, uh, such as uh, IIT Delhi, IIT Rurki, IIT Gandhinagar, IIT Guwahati, IIT Hyderabad, NIT Jaipur, Delhi University, DRDO, NHIDCL, uh, CGS Life Sciences and many more institutions. The main purpose because as I said we want to give more and more emphasis on uh, the research, innovation and creativity. And we normally send the student of the third, uh, third year, uh, which had passed the third year, to, the, uh, to these IITs or uh, maybe the other female institutions. 
they can complete their final year there, and if they wish, they can join the MTech as well as the PhD program. So all uh, IIT which I named uh, have offered the special program for NIT student to do the MTech as well as the PhD, and they are providing very handsome uh, scholarship also. So this is another advantage of this NEP 2020. Because of this NEP 2020, this all have uh, happened. And uh, we are really witnessing a new era of education in the higher, uh, higher education sector. We are also going for the uh, center of excellence. Eh? As I said, uh, because we have a still little crunch of space, and uh, but we are in the process of establishing the center of excellence. And the Honorable Minister of Education, Sri Dharmin Chadamji, and Ministry of Education are ready to provide the adequate fund for uh, establishing the Center of, ex, uh, center of Excellence and we may have a advanced instruments in these centers where advanced research can be conducted. We also active in uh, faculty and staff training and uh, we normally conduct various uh, faculty development program as well as the staff development program with uh, the experts inviting from premier institutions like NITs, IITs and we also help uh, the surrounding institutions uh, right, we have signed this DMO with the SSI, uh, this uh, this union institution of the state, as well as provide the training to the ITI students. Uh, right, I think it is teasing, I think using. So we offer our labs and other facility to all the institutions within the state, free of cost. So that way we are also helping. We also hand over uh, the students from the school as well as the college, which are uh, socially, economically uh, weaker, and we have been in, uh, in various uh, aspects. As far as the digital education is concerned, uh, we are very active and as I said, we are uh, offering the courses uh, right in the blended mode and we are also developing uh, more infrastructure as far as the uh, digital education is concerned. We might develop more content also. Uh, Right, or the courses which might be available online, maybe on this one platform or some other MOOC platform, so that is also important. The NEP 2020 envisages equity and exclusive education to one and all. This encompasses uh, all social and economic background, gender, caste, religion, and physical ability. To so with this objective of the NEP 2020, the Government of India has uh, facilitated the uh, students of the economical unprivileged uh, background uh, with the fee waiver scheme also. Apart of, from this, as I said, we are arranging uh, some remedial classes for such students and provide various uh, facilities uh, so that the PG education as well as the, the uh, Cheap education can be provided to uh, such sectors, so this is also important and uh, NIT Sikkim will be more active in supporting uh, the other institutions across the state also. Uh, so this is also another objective of uh, the NEP 2020. The NEP 2020 also gives emphasis on the local uh, uh, right culture as well as uh, the uh, heritage of uh, our nation. So we can start few courses. By, because as I said, we have signed the MOU with the University of Delhi and we are thinking to sign more MOUs with the University of Sikkim also and we can start some courses in the arts and science, right? So the students can opt those courses and can uh, really put their hobbies or maybe their uh, desire to do something apart from the engineering and uh, technology. So that is also important. Apart from this, I think everybody of us know the AICT as well as UCC is emphasizing to teach in the local languages. And uh, sometimes it is said, if you teach in your local language or the mother language, uh, the, uh, your content becomes easier to understand and the, uh, the retentivity is also increased. And realizing this goal, the NIT Sikkim is active and uh, the faculty members are involved in developing the content in various uh, languages. And sometimes uh, we help the ACT schemes also to translate uh, the uh, the courses which are being developed in the Hindi and English uh, to the local languages. So on that part also, the NIT uh, scheme is very active. 
And uh, apart from this, uh, we have taken various initiatives uh, uh, on the other aspect of the NEP, developing the infrastructure, because infrastructure is very important when you talk about the research and innovation. So that uh, we have really done well. And uh, at the last, I my sense of gratitude to Honorable Minister of State for Education, Shri uh, Shivas Hattati, Shrimati Anandapurna Devi Ji, Dr. Rajkumar Singh, Rajkumar Ranjan Singh Ji, for visiting our institution and appreciating uh, on our initiative towards the implementation of NEP 22. We gratefully acknowledge the constant guidance and uh, encouragement received from the Secretary of Higher Education, Sri Sanjay Kimutiji, the member of Board of Governors, Senate, and all stakeholders of the institution. Time to time, whenever we need their help, they are uh, uh, very proactive and uh, whatever we want, uh, they facilitate. And therefore, uh, the, in the short span, the NIT Sikkim has done well at, as far as the NIT uh, 2020 is concerned. And uh, I believe uh, this institution will have its uh, global presence in time to come by implementing the NEP 2020 and other uh, desired aspects of uh, such institutions. At last, uh, I would say NEP 2020 has completed three years of in its implementation and its impact on India education land state has been substantial. From promoting holistic development and skill-oriented learning to integrating technology and fostering inclusivity, NEP 2020 has laid a strong foundation for a progressive educational system and indigenous technologies. It will also enable us to realize the dream of our honorable Prime Minister, the Art Neighbor Bharat. However, the journey towards achieving the policy vision is ongoing, required continued, dedicated, and collaborative effort from all these stakeholders. As an important stakeholder, NIT Sikkim is fully committed to build upon the success of NEP 2020 and work towards an inclusive, innovative, and globally competitive education system that empower where every student at the institute to realize their full potential. The institute is excited to showcase its achievement in the upcoming event at New Delhi on 29th and 30th of July to commemorate the third anniversary of NEP 2020. And we may also sign some of more avenues with uh, female institutions uh, in this uh, event on 29th again. With this, I thank each and everyone uh, who is present in this hall, especially uh, the media, because I know they have traveled uh, far from, I think, Genfa, and coming to Ramangla is really an appreciable uh, effort. So thank you each and everyone, and uh, now I think the Dean uh, Academics or the Dean Administration wants to say something, they can say, and then we can start the question answer session. So, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, director, sir, has already told everything, I think, that we have done. So two three points, uh, sir has told that on 29th and 30th we want uh, we will sign some MUs. So the institutes are uh, IIT Jammu, NIT Kurukshetra, SIST, and many other institutions in uh, line uh, to sign the MOUs, and that will improve the uh, 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 teaching learning method and also the research activities in the institute. Second thing, uh, we have uh, also some international students from Bangladesh. They are studying there here. Uh, one is in uh, CAC department and some in mechanical department. And uh, last thing that uh, uh, Sarah has told, uh, we are uh, uh, doing uh, some uh, additional or extra classes. So uh, another thing I have to add that we have uh, uh, mentors for this uh, uh, group of students. So these group of students have assigned uh, mentors. So they are, uh, they are uh, guiding the students from academic and non-academic uh, activities. So, uh, I think this is all from my side. So, anything you can ask.
So what are the holistic development which has brought by the NIT in the last three years? Specifically. Sir? Yeah, any question from uh, the media? Yeah. One question is, uh, what is the holistic development the NIT Sikkim has done in the last three years? And for holistic development, because a student is not only to be trained in the uh, in the technical courses, but he should be good at uh, the co-curricular and extracurricular activities also. So we timely organize uh, some fest also, so just uh, just like your uh, cultural fest, as well as the technical fest, we permit the student to participate in games and sports across the NITs as well as, well as IITs also. And whenever they request, we send them to other uh, state engineering institutions also. Uh, so we provide a lot of opportunity to develop their personality and as I said we have introduced the professional practice courses especially uh, to not only prepare them for the placement but we wish that they should visit the local villages uh, maybe around their hometown or maybe in Sikkim and then come up with the local problems and should develop some indigenous uh, solutions which can facilitate the society. So that is the uh, also an objective of uh, this course, and probably because of the COVID, we could not start it uh, right in a correct uh, spirit. But now we are thinking we'll ask the students to at least go for a week or uh, 15 days to some village, submit a report, identify with a problem, and with the solution also. So this is another plan of uh, the uh, this one of the initiative under NIT 2020. And also, uh, during the uh, International Day of Yoga, we have conducted one month yoga program so for the uh, physical health of the students. And also, in the first year, when the students are admitted in the institute, so we offer them art of living courses for uh, five days. So the, for the mental uh, betterment or mental health improvement of the students. Um, and presently, I am also thinking to have, uh, let's say, one or two hours of the yoga classes maybe thrice a uh, week or maybe daily. So that is also we are planning. So we are also planning that one. So yoga for all. Yes. Um, question for the Dean. Since the implementation of NEP grade 20, has the quality of education in uh, NIT Ravangla increased or decreased? And what kind of changes have you seen since the implementation in the uh, education period? Uh, so actually, uh, I don't know what do you mean by quality of education. So it cannot be judged uh, simply by uh, saying. So it is not only just the numbers they got and how are they are. If you are if you are asking about the placement over the years, we have been uh, so the placement statistics have improved drastically. Uh, so our See, have been if you like, answer if you answer this, uh, this the yeah. quality of education really mean if the student have learned something. Yeah. Right. It's not only. Uh, Right, getting the grade or the marks, the main purpose of his learning. If he has really learned what he wants, I think we have successful and we can say this is quality of education. Yes, and already some of our students have started their own uh, yes. uh, startups also. I think three so, students have already started their startup. Startup, so they are doing very well. Uh, so we are operating from a temporary campus with limited resources, but still they are doing very well and um, in every sphere of life. So I think that the education uh, has, has been great. So obviously, substantial improvement. Uh, to add a point there, what my colleague Ajinte said, one of the parameters to judge the quality of education is, uh, you know, after detail where the students are getting admission. So a uh, lot of our students are getting uh, admission in some of the uh, prestigious institutions around the world. We have a presence in US. Uh, our students are getting stipend, and they are admitted in uh, the University of Houston. And many uh, University of British Columbia, some of them have even joined universities in Australia. So that is also one of the points that you know, emphasizes that there is a significant improvement in the quality of education. And 100% internship also. Yes. Yes. And as I said that, uh, we have three successful startups on the campus. And out of those three successful startups, two have you know, recently come up from the institute. 
So that also emphasizes the fact that there is a significant improvement in the quality of education. And as Achintya said, there is a drastic, uh, you know, uh, you know, improvement in the placement and internship. We have 100% internship, and you know, the placement is uh, fabulous over the last uh, four years. Uh, any possibilities you could mention the names of the startups? Sorry? The names of the startups? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, uh, one is called Cloud Design by one of our alumni called Abhishek Singh. The other one is the Algorithm by uh, Prince Raj, I believe. So these are the two startups. Uh, yeah. Thank you. And also, Director has already told that we have signed a move with different IITs. So we have uh, signed a move with IIT Hyderabad, and as per that move, two students has uh, completed their final year studies in IIT Hyderabad. After completing their BTEC, they are directly admitted to PhD at IIT Hyderabad. So this is the achievement. Uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, yes. NIT Ravangla or NSIT CL ke bis mein ek agreement hua tha. आ, जो लेंस टेक के इशू को लेकर इसमें अब काम कहां तक पहुंचा और इसमें आ, इस साल एग्रीमेंट के बाद फर्स्ट ए मानसून सीजन है तो एनआईटी रावंगला ने रोड का जो लेंस टेक का इशू है इसमें अभी तक क्या किया काम किया वो जानना चाहता हूं और दूसरा कैंपस का स्टेटस के बारे में क्या है खमदों में जो कैंपस बनने वाला है उसका स्टेटस क्या है अभी सर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्या है अबाउट द एमयू बी साइन विद द एनएचआईडीसी Yes, uh, but that was not for uh, right working. They have not given us the problem for this. How to deal with the landslide? Right, but we are ready. If they will uh, assign us the project uh, right uh, to work on this uh, landslides and uh, what are the pro proactive actions can be taken to stop this landslide, we definitely take up the problem with the uh, civil engineering department. And as far as the uh, permanent campus is concerned, uh, we have submitted the DPR to Ministry of Education and this is in the final phase of uh, funding. I believe within three or four months we will get the funds from the Ministry of Education. And there are few issues which are pending still with the state government, I think they will be solved within a month or so. So once they are being solved, I think we will begin uh, the construction maybe by November or maybe December. सम जो स्टेट गवर्नमेंट के साथ जो सम टेक्निकल इशू बोला वो क्या है टेक्निकल लैंड इक्वेशन का प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हुआ कि नहीं और हुआ तो कितना इक्वेशन हुआ और स्टेट गवर्नमेंट ने एनआईटी को लैंड हैंड ओवर किया है कि नहीं सर ये जानना चाहते हैं कि वो जो लैंड से रिलेटेड पावर एंड कैंपस से रिलेटेड जो टेक्निकल इशूज है उसका क्या मतलब है क्या लैंड हमको पूरी तरीके से हैंड ओवर हुआ है या नहीं May, can you repeat? Uh, sir, he's, not sir, he's he's asking whether we have bought the entire chunk of land. Is it uh, given to us in the full? Uh, yes, yes, yes. The entire entire chunk of land is being given to us. There is no issue as far as the land uh, transfer is concerned. Okay, that is completed. Only there is one issue. One is the low road diversion, connectivity. Okay, these are the two major issues. I think uh, all of others have been solved right now. Okay, sir. So that is also in the progress. I think uh, after this monsoon season, that road is construction will also start. 